legendary reporter, writer, broadcaster known as Mr. College Football. When Tony speaks, people listen. Tony Barnhart. This is awesome. This is totally awesome. Thank you, Ken. I really, really, really appreciate it. You know, when something like this happens in your life, my bride and I, we were talking this morning around breakfast, and I said, you know, I said, sweetheart, did you ever believe in your wildest dreams, did you ever think that I'd be in the Hall of Fame? And she said, sweetheart, you know I love you, really. But but you were never in my wildest dreams. I mean, <laughs> you laughed about that a lot more than she did. Uh, when you grow up in a little town like Union Point, Georgia, population 1,500, you wonder how big you dare to dream. How big do you dare to dream? And what I found out over the years is if you have a great team behind you, there is no limit to your dreams. Here's my team right here. Raise your hands, guys. This was the table here that was bidding up the Kirby Smart uh, deal over there. So I look around this room and I see all the people that have helped me. I see Claude Felton. I see Lauren Smith. I see Coach Dooley. I see Ray Goff. I see Phil Schaefer. I see all these people that have helped me so much. But you have to know that I've had a great team, and for 44 years, the captain of my team has been Maria Villegas Barnhart. Raise your hand there, darling. Like a lot of people, I started this, this career, this path covering high school football, and she went along with me 44 years ago to keep the stats. And she's still in charge of the math at our house, by the way. She does that. My daughter, Sarah Catherine, her husband, Brian, are here. It's not easy having a dad who's a sports writer. You're gone a lot, but she was the very best. My mom's in Madison, Georgia right now. She'll be 89 in December. Couldn't be here, but she is very proud. Sam and Liv Villegas, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, came down from Winston-Salem. We're so glad that they're here. Fraternity brothers who've been behind me, Jack Culpepper's representing them both. My high school English teacher, Tommy Ward, came to me and said, you know, she graded one of my papers. She said, you know, you've got a chance if you work at it. The operative word there being work. Coaches, all my coaches in high school who taught me to love the game, this class, this incredible class that I'm going with, people like Matt Stinchcomb and Joe Hamilton who have been, uh, I've covered them and they have become friends. So it's been very, very special. I will leave you with this. When Bill Shanks called with the news, I said, Bill, I'm going to tell you two things. There's a lot of people who deserve this more than I do, but I promise you, no one will ever be as grateful than this little country boy from Union Point, Georgia. Thank you very much.